Scarlett Ingrid Johansson, de Heinzen, is an American actress. Scarlett Ingrid Johansson was born on November 22, 1984, in the Manhattan borough of New York City. Johansson's father, Carsten Olaf Johansson, is an architect originally from Copenhagen, Denmark. Through him, she is a granddaughter of Anna Johansson, an art historian, screenwriter, and film director, whose own father was Swedish. Her mother, New Yorker Melanie Sloan, has worked as a producer. She comes from an Ashkenazi Jewish family who fled Poland and Russia, originally surnamed Schlamberg, and Johansson identifies as Jewish. She has an older sister named Vanessa, who is also an actress, an older brother named Adrian, and a twin brother named Hunter. Johansson also has an older half-brother named Christian from her father's first marriage, and holds dual American and Danish citizenship. She discovered that her maternal great-grandfather's brother and extended family died during the Holocaust in the Warsaw Ghetto. Johansson attended PS41, an elementary school in Greenwich Village, Manhattan. Her parents divorced when she was 13. She was particularly close to her maternal grandmother, Dorothy Sloan, a bookkeeper and schoolteacher. They often spent time together and Johansson considered Dorothy her best friend. Interested in a career in the spotlight from an early age, Johansson often put on song and dance routines for her family. She was particularly fond of musical theater and jazz hands. Johansson took lessons in tap dance and states that her parents were supportive of her career choice. She has described her childhood as very ordinary. As a child, Johansson practiced acting by staring in the mirror until she made herself cry, wanting to be like Judy Garland in Meet Me in St. Louis. At age seven, she was devastated when a talent agent signed one of her brothers instead of her, but later decided to become an actress anyway. After enrolling at the Lee Strasberg Theatre Institute and auditioning for commercials, Johansson soon lost interest, stating, I didn't want to promote Wonder Bread. She shifted her focus to film and theatre, making her first stage appearance with two lines in the off-Broadway play Sophistry with Ethan Hawke. Around this time, Johansson began studying at the Professional Children's School, a private educational institution for aspiring child actors in Manhattan. At age nine, Johansson made her film debut as John Ritter's daughter in the fantasy comedy North, 1994. She says that when she was on the film set, she knew intuitively what to do. She later played minor roles such as the daughter of Sean Connery's and Kate Capshaw's characters in the mystery thriller Just Cause, 1995, and an art student in If Lucy Fell, 1996. Johansson's first leading role was as Amanda, the younger sister of a pregnant teenager who runs away from her foster home in Manny and Lowe, 1996, alongside Alexa Palladino and her brother, Hunter. Her performance received positive reviews. One written for the San Francisco Chronicle noted, the film grows on you, largely because of the charm of. Johansson earned a nomination for the Independent Spirit Award for Best Lead Female for the role. After appearing in minor roles in Fall and Home Alone 3, both in 1997, Johansson attracted wider attention for her performance in the film The Horse Whisperer, 1998, co-starring director Robert Redford. Based on the 1995 novel of the same name by Nicholas Evans, the drama tells the story of a talented horse trainer who is hired to help an injured teenager, Johansson, and her horse back to health. She was nominated for the Chicago Film Critics Association Award. Johansson said it was hard for her as adults wrote the scripts and they portray kids like mall rats and not seriously. Kids and teenagers just aren't being portrayed with any real depth. Johansson later appeared in My Brother the Pig, 1999, and in the Coen Brothers neo-noir film The Man Who Wasn't There, 2001. Her breakthrough came playing a cynical outcast in Terry Zwigoff's black comedy Ghost World, 2001, an adaptation of Daniel Clow's graphic novel of the same name. With David Arquette, Johansson appeared in the horror comedy Eight-Legged Freaks, 2002, about a collection of spiders exposed to toxic waste, causing them to grow gigantic and begin killing animals and people. 
After graduating from professional children's school that year, she applied to New York University's Tisch School of the Arts, but was rejected and decided to focus on her film career. Johansson transitioned from teen to adult roles with two films in 2003, the romantic comedy drama Lost in Translation and the drama Girl with a Pearl Earring. In the former, directed by Sofia Coppola, she plays Charlotte, a listless and lonely young wife, opposite Bill Murray. Coppola had first noticed Johansson in Manny and Lowe, and compared her to a young Lauren Bacall. Coppola based the film's story on the relationship between Bacall and Humphrey Bogart in The Big Sleep, 1946. Johansson found the experience of working with a female director different because of Coppola's ability to empathize with her. Made on a budget of $4 million, the film grossed $119 million at the box office and received critical acclaim. Roger Ebert was pleased with the film and described the lead actor's performances as wonderful, and Entertainment Weekly wrote of Johansson's embracing, restful serenity. The New York Times praised Johansson, aged 17 at the time of filming, for playing an older character. She was nominated for the BAFTA Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role and Golden Globe Awards for Best Actress for both films in 2003, winning the former for Lost in Translation. In Variety's opinion, Johansson's roles in Lost in Translation and Girl with a Pearl Earring established her as among the most versatile actresses of her generation. Johansson had five releases in 2004, three of which the teen heist film The Perfect Score, the drama A Love Song for Bobby Long, and the drama A Good Woman were critical and commercial failures. Johansson earned a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Drama nomination for the film. In her fourth release in 2004, the live-action animated comedy The SpongeBob SquarePants Movie, Johansson voiced Princess Mindy, the daughter of King Neptune. The film was her most commercially successful release that year. She followed it with In Good Company, a comedy drama in which she plays a young woman who complicates her father's life when she dates his much younger boss. Johansson on the campus of Columbia University during the filming of The Nanny Diaries, 2006 Johansson played Nola, an aspiring actress who begins an affair with a married man, played by Jonathan Rhys Myers, in Woody Allen's drama Match Point in 2005. After replacing Kate Winslet with Johansson for the role, Allen changed the character's nationality from British to American. The film, a box office success, earned Johansson nominations for the Golden Globe and the Chicago Film Critics Association Award for Best Supporting Actress. Also that year, Johansson starred with Ewan McGregor in Michael Bay's science fiction film The Island, in dual roles as Sarah Jordan and her clone, Jordan 2 Delta. The film received mixed reviews and grossed $163 million against a $126 million budget. Two of Johansson's films in 2006 explored the world of stage magicians, both opposite Hugh Jackman. Alan cast her opposite Jackman and himself in the film Scoop, 2006, in which she played a journalism student. The film was a modest worldwide box office success, but polarized critics. She also appeared in Brian De Palma's The Black Dahlia, a film noir shot in Los Angeles and Bulgaria. Johansson later said she was a fan of De Palma and had wanted to work with him on the film but thought that she was unsuitable for the part. Also in 2006, Johansson starred in the short film When the Deal Goes Down to accompany Bob Dylan's song, When the Deal Goes Down, from the album Modern Times. Johansson had a supporting role of assistant and lover of Jackman's character, an aristocratic magician, in Christopher Nolan's mystery thriller The Prestige, 2006. Johansson's sole release of 2007 was the critically panned comedy drama The Nanny Diaries alongside Chris Evans and Laura Linney in which she played a college graduate working as a nanny. In 2008, Johansson starred, with Natalie Portman and Eric Banner, in The Other Berlin Girl, which also earned mixed reviews. In her third collaboration with Woody Allen, the romantic comedy drama Vicky Cristina Barcelona, 2008, which was filmed in Spain, Johansson plays one of the love interests of Javier Bardem's character alongside Penelope Cruz. The film was one of Allen's most profitable and received favorable reviews. 
She also played the femme fatale Silken Floss in The Spirit, based on the newspaper comic strip of the same name by Will Eisner. It received poor reviews from critics, who deemed it melodramatic, unoriginal, and sexist. Johansson's only role in 2009 was as Anna Marx, a yoga instructor, in the ensemble comedy drama He's Just Not That Into You, 2009. The film was released to tepid reviews but was a box office success. Johansson made her debut in a 2010 revival of Arthur Miller's drama A View from the Bridge. Johansson secured the part of Black Widow in Jon Favreau's Iron Man 2, 2010, a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU, after Emily Blunt was forced to opt out due to other obligations. Before she was cast, she dyed her hair red to convince Favreau that she was right for the part and undertook stunt and strength training to prepare for the role. The film earned $623.9 million against its $200 million budget and received generally positive reviews from critics, although reviewers criticized how her character was written. In 2011, Johansson played the role of Kelly, a zookeeper in the family film We Bought a Zoo alongside Matt Damon. The film got mainly favorable reviews. Johansson earned a Teen Choice Award for Choice Movie Actress, drama nomination for her performance. Johansson learned some Russian from a former teacher on the phone for her role as Black Widow in The Avengers, 2012, another entry from the MCU. The film received mainly positive reviews and broke many box office records, becoming the third highest grossing film both in the United States and worldwide. For her performance, she was nominated for two Teen Choice Awards and three People's Choice Awards. Later that year, Johansson portrayed actress Janet Leigh in Sasha Gervais's Hitchcock, a behind-the-scenes drama about the making of Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 film Psycho. After a one-year screen absence, Johansson reprised her role as Black Widow in her own solo prequel film in 2021, on which she also served as an executive producer. She saw this as an opportunity to show her character's ability to be on her own and make choices for herself while facing difficult times and noted that her vulnerability distinguished her from other Avengers. Johansson won the Female Movie Star of 2021 at the 47th People's Choice Awards. Also that year, she reprised her voice role as Ash in the sequel Sing 2. Johansson returned to the screen with Wes Anderson's comedy Asteroid City, 2023, in which she led an ensemble cast. It was her second film to premiere at the Cannes Film Festival after Match Point, 2005. For her two months of work on the film, she took a substantial pay cut, earning $4,131 a week. While attending the professional children's school, Johansson dated classmate Jack Antonoff from 2001 to 2002. She dated her Black Dahlia co-star Josh Hartnett for about two years until the end of 2006. According to Hartnett, they broke up because their busy schedules kept them apart. Johansson began dating Canadian actor Ryan Reynolds in 2007. They became engaged in May 2008, married in September 2008 on Vancouver Island, separated in December 2010 and divorced in July 2011. In November 2012, Johansson began dating Frenchman Romain Doriac, the owner of an advertising agency. They became engaged the following September. The pair divided their time between New York City and Paris. She gave birth to their daughter in 2014. Johansson and Doriac married that October in Phillipsburg, Montana. They separated in mid-2016 and divorced in September 2017. Johansson began dating Saturday Night Live co-head writer and Weekend Update co-host Colin Jost in May 2017. In May 2019, the two were engaged. They married in October 2020, at their New York home. She gave birth to their son in August 2021. Johansson resides in New York and Los Angeles. In September 2011, Nude photographs of Johansson hacked from her cell phone were leaked online. She said the pictures had been sent to her then-husband, Ryan Reynolds, three years prior to the incident. Following an FBI investigation, the hacker was arrested, pleaded guilty, and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. In 2014, 
Johansson won a lawsuit against French publisher J.C. Lattes over libelous statements about her relationships in the novel The First Thing We Look At by Grégoire Delacorte. She was awarded $3,400. She had sued for $68,000. Johansson has criticized the media for promoting an image that causes unhealthy diets and eating disorders among women. In an essay she wrote for the Huffington Post, she encouraged people to maintain a healthy body. O. Hansen has supported various charitable organizations including Aid Still Required, Cancer Research UK, Stand Up to Cancer, Too Many Women, which works against breast cancer, and USA Harvest, which provides food for people in need. In 2005, Johansson became a global ambassador for the Aid and Development Agency Oxfam. In 2007, she took part in the anti-poverty campaign One, which was organized by U2's lead singer Bono. In January 2014, Johansson resigned from her Oxfam position after criticism of her promotion of SodaStream, whose main factory was based in Mishar Adamin, an Israeli settlement in the West Bank. Oxfam opposes all trade with such Israeli settlements. Oxfam stated that it was thankful for her contributions in raising funds to fight poverty. Together with her Avengers co-stars, Johansson raised $500,000 for the victims of Hurricane Maria. In 2018, she collaborated with 300 women in Hollywood to set up the Time's Up initiative to protect women from harassment and discrimination. Johansson took part in the Women's March in Los Angeles in January 2018, where she spoke on topics such as abuses of power, sharing her own experience. She received backlash for calling out fellow actor James Franco on allegations of sexual misconduct as in the past she had defended working with Woody Allen amid an accusation by his daughter Dylan Farrow.